Uh, let's lay the groundwork first. Uh, tell us what the appendix is, where it's located, and take it away. Right, so this is the, uh, the colon. Uh, the rectum is down here. This is the right colon, the cecum, what we call. And this is finger-like projection off the base of the cecum is the appendix. All right, so what is... <laughs> We talked about this before the show started. I was like, what is the function of the appendix? I mean, do we really even need it? Because obviously they took mine out and uh, my father actually took it out. And I remember him just saying, just take it out. We don't even, she doesn't even need it. Nobody needs it, who cares? Right, well, you can live like a, a normal life without your appendix. Your, your appendix is not needed for you to have a healthy Right, long it's not life. your liver. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's obviously not the liver. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it is, uh, nowadays there is some data that it, it, it forms a, it serves as a reservoir for good bacteria after you are getting over uh, like a viral illness, a gastroenteritis. Uh, so it kind of repopulates the normal flora of the colon after you've been sick. All right, and that one that we're looking at, doctor, that one's inflamed? Right, so an inflamed appendix will get thickened. Mm -hmm. uh, Normal size is up to about seven millimeters, so anything above that uh, indicates that there is something wrong with the appendix. Uh, there, will, there will be increased blood flow. You can, it, the uh, cartoon here is kind of mimicking with a redness uh, with it. Uh, it shows that there increased blood flow, inflammation, swelling. Um, and what causes it to inflame? Right. Is there a specific thing? Well, like most things in the intestinal tract or the urinary system, or in, for that, for the, when you have obstruction of the inside of any lumen, uh, be it the uh, bladder, or the urethra, or the colon, the gallbladder, it, it, uh, the bacteria that normally live in there can can start growing and and cause a inflammation and infection over time. <laughs>